Big concerns in the, her first season, but it'll be good to see her with a, a clean run at it as well. There is Malloy in the middle, tackled by Egan, had to release the handball. Uh, her tenacity with the footy there. Loins to press Barkas, and now Egan. And this is a hot start between two quality teams. Yeah, Chloe Malloy, having spent a lot of time out of the game, you like her attacking the footy and taking it on like that. Egan from 45 attacks the goal square to Harris. So far today, using the, all the space on the ground. Harrington goes outside 50, two on two. Egan beautifully off the hands of the contest. She's got Malloy for company at the moment. Lovely kick. Neither an effective tap. Dalton goes at it against Kiyochi. Really good start this from Egan. Such poise. Under some pressure, called to go. Butler did well. Forster, hurried kick. Malloy spoils from behind on Egan. Sliding in his row, runs straight into Grace Egan. Playing just her second game. Leads the game at the moment with four touches. Four to Egan, four to Press Barkas, and four to Malloy. Be up in the first place too, so great to see her then press on forward and, and, and get a goal. So the margin eight points in favour of the Pies. Here's Egan again, gets a free kick for a hold in the middle. Just over a minute and a half remaining, no one stands the mark, so she creeps an extra five metres, just pops the kick high inside 50. Vessio at the front, couldn't quite complete it. Moody crashed through, Vessio got a hand in on Brazel. It comes to Egan again, so poised in traffic. Ball, it's the Pies by eight points, Moody got the hit out. Egan's been impressive, feeling hands, off to Hosky. Now Egan, just backpedal, popped a kick. Harris Era gives it to Moody, it's smothered off her boot. Good defensive work from Dargan, in fact it was Pies get a goal from it. The Blues under pressure here. They trail by 14 points as Presparkas is taken down. Here's Lambert. Pops a little handball over the top against Brazali. Free kick Carlton over the shoulder. It's going to Grace Egan. It's a short throw in. Downey read it well, but couldn't make an effective tap. Leighton's little tap over the top to Kiyochi. She runs into Loins. Now a chance for Egan. Hoist it high. Moody sets herself. Well, yeah. Great pressure from the Pies, forced them backwards, and in the end, Egan had to concede. To take it out of the ruck, it almost worked. Oh. Lingering tackle there on Membry. Umpire says play on. Harrington is calling for the bench. She's limping off. We'll keep an eye on it. She saw trotting to defensive 50 now. It's going to take her a minute or so to get off the ground. It's not going to get there. It's going to spill to the front. Chance here for the Pies, Sheridan. Taken down by Egan, and the Blues survive. Let's have a look at their ball movement. This has been the big issue. Just haven't been able to string together fluent movement this afternoon. They kicked, took it on, kicked it straight into Egan, and then bowls are over. It'll spill to Sarah Rowe. She's got Casey on the outside, can't find her. Egan cuts it off. Rush up the ground to, to try and help. Still just three touches. Is that a G? Benici tries to fend off a couple and gone. Two and a half minutes remaining. Can the Blues find something here? Egan, 60 from goal. Goes in the Stevens direction to Brazel. Collingwood looking solid down back. Egan did well, good vertical leap, got a hand to it. Just the second goal in her 17 game career as we thank Andy Ma for his time. Sounds like they're going to give him every chance to get up for next week. <laughs> They'll leave it to the Could be a game day decision. The 11th hour. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're that good, you get to make your own decisions, Beck, isn't <laughs> that what they say? If he puts his hand up, we'll back him in, I think is the, That's the, the attitude like, at yeah. Carlton. With great defensive work, Kiyochi. Butler goes in to win the football. Main handball smothered by Kiyochi. Egan went down, won the football. Turn.